What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 39 in the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question is only asking us to find which set of four points between choices A, B, C, and D has Y as a function of X. And the big skill that we will need in order to solve a problem like this is just the definition of a function, which I'll go over right here. There was another question earlier in the set of eighth grade questions that was very, very similar to this. So I'm gonna solve it in almost the exact same way, uh, but I'll use a different analogy for the definition of a function. Now, the idea of a function is that if the same x should not give us different y's. If we have the same x number, it should give us the same y number. Now in, my, in the other question, I use an example of vending machines. Now I'll use an example of test scores. If you take a test and you get, so you have your questions and you have your score. If you take a test, you get 10 questions right and you get a 100, you're very happy I'm assuming. Your friend takes a test, they get nine questions and they get a 90, they're okay with that. But let's say someone else gets 9 out of the 10 questions, and they get a 70. Now, you would reasonably think, wait, something's up with this. The same number of questions should not give me different scores. And that's the same idea for a function. We can think of the number of questions we get right as x, and our score is y. The same number of questions right should not get us different scores. And so we're just going to look for... Um, any of these answer choices where the same x is giving us different y values. So I'll start with a, 2, 4, 5, and 6. We don't have the same x, so I'll just look at the other choices. Choice b, x of 4 and x of 4. In the first point, it's 2. In the second point, it's negative 2. The same x is giving us different y's. The same number of questions right is giving us a different score, and that's what we don't want. So b is not a function and not our answer. For choice c, x of 2, x of 2. In this point, it gives us a y of 1. In this point, it gives us a y of 0. Same thing. The same number of questions is giving us two different scores. Not a function, not our answer. Now for choice D, x of 2, x of 1, we have matching x's, 0 and 0. This person got a 3 and this person got a 2, both for getting 0 questions right, and we don't want that. So it can't be D either. And I'll go back to the same conclusion I drew from the other question that looked a lot like this. It's a bit of a cheap way to say that we've done this, but if we have different x's, then we don't even have any different numbers of questions to compare scores with. So we'll just have to assume that this is a function. And in fact, this is our answer, choice A.